in today a quick video to show you what a persimmon is. So this is a persimmon and this is a Fuyu persimmon. I may not be pronouncing perfectly well, um, but this is the Fuyu persimmon and this is the variety that is most common in stores. I didn't try persimmon until about maybe four or five years ago. Just didn't know what they were or how to use them, what they might taste like. And I learned that there are two varieties of persimmon. Perhaps there's more. I just think there's two common varieties. And one is this Fuyu persimmon. Hello everyone joining in. We're talking about persimmon. And then the other variety is called a Hachia. Again, not sure on pronunciation, but I think I'm close. And that one is less common and looks more like a Roma tomato, okay? So if you're looking for persimmon, I would recommend this one, the, the uh, Fuyu persimmon. And the reason being is that it can be eaten either fairly hard like this one. I've got a few here. Actually, this one's much harder. And you can see as they ripen, they become a little more dark orange. Hello everyone joining. A little more dark orange. When you first get them, they may be a little lighter orange like that. And they're really pretty looking and we see them in the fall and winter. Uh, the thing with the Hachia persimmon, which looks more like a tomato, and perhaps, I'm not sure if they're bigger than tomatoes, but they look a little like a Roma tomato. So not a any tomato, but a Roma tomato because a Fuyu persimmon looks a little bit like a hothouse tomato, right? But this is very sweet, no matter whether it's ripe and, and or hard and more unripe, or whether it's softer. When it gets more ripe, it gets softer, but it's sweet either way. Whereas if you get one that looks like this, which is the Hachia persimmon, it is really astringent. And I haven't tasted the Hachia persimmon. Hi everyone, we're talking persimmon today. I haven't tasted the Hachia, but my understanding is that unless it's fully ripe and like soft and squishy, it's unbearable to eat. It's really astringent. You don't wanna, like it's just, just not enjoyable. It's too mouth puckering uh, to the point where you wouldn't wanna eat it at all, okay? So this is the variety I recommend you try to find because I think it might be uh, tricky to, if you're buying a Fuyu persimmon, then you may cut it before it's fully ripe. I think they have to get very, very soft, almost squishy, maybe even like a bit jelly-like. This I love because you can cut it when it's harder, like I said, and quite, um, it's still quite sweet. So I'm gonna cut it for you now and show you what it's like. So they're not the easiest fruit to get into. Um, and to show you a size comparison, here is a, this is a Kara Kara orange, and here's a Fuyu, oh sorry, a Fuyu persimmon. And I said that wrong, this is Hachia. So Fuyu persimmon and a Kara Kara orange, which are really like dark pink inside and so yummy, a dark orange. And here's a lemon and there's a Fuyu persimmon, okay, to give you some idea of size. And they're not the easiest. It's not like, uh, you know, biting into an apple or opening an orange. Hey everyone, joining. This is, you know, you've got to get into it with a knife, unless it's really soft and you can kind of break it open. So I'm going to come down to my cutting board. And how I cut it, I usually just cut it like this. It's not pretty inside. It's really dark orange. And this one, you can see the juices. It's a little ripe, but it's not squishy. So this is really nice when it still has a little firmness, you can add it to salads, but I actually like it straight up. So you can kind of do, you could sort of do it like orange shed segments, right? Like how you cut an orange and bite into it like an orange. But what I do is I just trim around the edges of it like this. Can you see that? Whenever I do this, my littlest is like, mom, you're gonna cut your finger. <laughs> and there you go. It's really juicy. Oh, when it's ripe, riper, it's juicy. It's really sweet. It's so good. And there is like a, we just see there is like a bit of a membrane right there in the persimmon. Well, that's like a tiny bit chewier, but 
the whole fruit is really sweet and delicious. So it takes a little bit of like um, getting into it with your knife, but it's quite delicious. And when they are a little harder, I like I actually like them this way too. They're quite um, still quite sweet, and you could take off the skin, add it to a salad, eat it straight up. Nice for lunches, for kids' lunches. My youngest really likes these, so if you have the time to core around it and then put it into a kid's lunch, chop it up, it's a nice treat. And it doesn't oxidize. So like apples will oxidize, it doesn't oxidize. Hey everyone for joining in. We're talking about persimmon. So again, if you're going to the store and you want to have a look out for persimmon, this is the Fuyu persimmon. If you see one that looks like a Roma tomato, that is a Hachia persimmon, really astringent until it's super soft. This one is sweet, whether it's a little harder or when it softens. I actually find when it softens, it gets too squishy. It's just too squishy. It's still sweet and nice, but it may be really good to add to smoothies or to use in a pudding or a dessert or something like that. Um, but I like it between, you know, a little crunchy and starting to ripen. And you'll know too, the more ripe it gets, it gets really dark like that. So that is the scoop on persimmon. And I will keep this video for a replay so you can watch it later. And often I'm doing like vegan product videos, but I thought it's really nice to feature some seasonal produce uh, because we pass by these things often and we don't know if we like it or it's worth trying. I will also say it doesn't have any sourness, like say an orange, it can be sweet but still a little sour. This is straight up sweet like a melon. So that might be a good way to compare it. If you like melons, you might like this, right? Uh, if you like a little sourness to fruit, this may not be your favorite. Um, but anyhow, that is a persimmon. So thanks for joining and uh, I will be back with another video soon. Take care guys. Bye.